Okay, they're halfway under the ocean. I I think your gas tank would freaking explode if you were if you were in the middle of a ship underwater halfway to the towards the bottom of the ocean. I think it would explode. You wouldn't be still you wouldn't still be alive. But no, she makes it out uh, while the ship is going down really really fast, and she gets out with this guy. And they get in a uh, they, they get into this tube uh, with her father from the helicopter who's been helping her through this whole thing. And they get on, and she tries she performs CPR on him. Okay, not only did he drown, you see she saw him drown, but his body was halfway under the ocean. You, you expect him to come come out of it just like that? No. No, that does not happen. And I kept saying to myself, if because she she does she she performs CPR on him for like five minutes, saying live, damn it, live, damn it. And I kept saying to myself, if he wakes up, I'm gonna punch my t television screen in the freaking face with my fist because that does not happen. And no, he doesn't wake up. He's dead. So that's one thing they got right. But here's another thing. Again, this is Ed Wood territory. It's still the middle of the night when, when, when uh, the dad picks up the, the nurse who was his daughter and the Mr. Andrews guy who just died while he was underwater. She, he picks them up and it happens during night. But when it cuts to the guy, if you look behind him, because they're in this little tent in the middle of the ocean, if you look behind him, it's, it's clear as day. It's daylight out. The, the sun is setting. I can see the ocean. And then when we come back to her, it's nighttime. And then we come back to him, it's daytime! Like, <laughs> this is... This is Plan 9 from Outer Space shit! <laughs> oh my... <laughs> so, so and, and you know what the weird thing is? There really isn't an ending to this movie. It just kind of stops. It just stops. Like, she stops performing CPR on him. She hugs her dad. We, we zoom in on, on this guy's dead face. And then the credits come up. And that's a movie. That's it. That's the movie. <laughs> and, you know, for a film that isn't a sequel, because I thought this was going to be a sequel to the James Cameron movie, because it's called Titanic 2, but it's really the name of the ship, which is the second RMS Titanic. Um, this movie, one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but you know what? You're not supposed to take it seriously, because you just can't. You just can't. You can't take The Room seriously. You can't take Plan 9 from Outer Space seriously. You can't take Alone in the Dark or Seed, or House of the Dead, seriously, you can't. It's, it's a B-movie. It's a bad movie. There isn't one name in Hollywood in this movie. No, none of the, none of the actors I've ever heard of before. But if you want to see this movie for yourself, it's on Netflix. That's how I saw it. And um, I just want to end this review by saying thank you, Chris Norcross, for putting me through all this. Thank you. So, uh... <laughs> Um, he's probably going to reply to me about that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, AB, and I, I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, take care.